Hey guys, this is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching, and today we're going to teach you the Wimbledon 2017 Roger Federer Slice. That's why I just had to bring in the original Fed head, Matt Bradshaw from Coffee Break Tennis. That's right. I'm happy to be here, and I'm happy to be talking Roger Federer. Absolutely. He loves Roger Federer, and if you've noticed this year, Roger Federer is using more slice on the grass than he was earlier in the year on the hard court. Right. Well, he was driving through that ball and some of Matt's loyal followers are now getting concerned that they see Roger slicing too much They're getting a little worried about that Matt. Don't worry. It's good on the grass It always has been and it still is it's a very effective shot especially on the backhand side So don't worry about it. So there's two tactics We're going to teach you today that Roger Federer uses all the time the first one is called the time saver slice. Matt, tell them a little bit about that one. That's the more defensive option. So you'll see this a lot if Federer is kind of on the run, he's gonna have to lunge to the ball and he'll still come at it pretty aggressively, but then he kind of pulls off and feathers the ball a little bit in the fall through, buys him some more time to get back to the middle of the court and doesn't give his opponent anything to work with when it comes to pace so they can't really hurt him. That's right, when Roger Federer wants to be more aggressive, he goes to the toenail biter slice, yes. Matt. And this is where he really digs his body into the court and the ball shoots through the grass and stays low, basically people's toenails. So very great shots to have. We're gonna teach you how to do them. Matt's gonna be right back teaching you how to use the time saver slice. And if you guys like those two options for the backhand, be sure to click right here. So we got three for you in Pete's three-part series on how you can hit a better one-handed backhand. Okay, so the key to this one is don't pull off the brakes too soon. It could be very easy for you to pull off before contact and just pop the ball up, which is gonna be really easy to get crushed by your opponent. So we're gonna be going wide for the ball, step in, make sure you make solid contact, and then the second the ball has left your strings, that's when you pull off and start recovering, and you get that little feathery touch on your strings. All right, so now we're gonna cover the toenail biter slice. This is a slice Roger likes to use when he wants to be more offensive with the slice. When he has time to really step into that ball, go forward into the court, this is where he wants to make the ball knife and stay low and basically be right around people's toes. So it's scooting through the court. You notice when Matt was demoing over here, he was on defense and he was stepping out this way and floating back. And we were talking about taking our foot off the brake. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slam our foot on the brake. That's move number one. Also, I want you to focus on getting this jut move. I love when you're getting ready for a slice. See, lots of amateur players, they get to here and they can't get any power. But if you get this racket out here, I call this the jut move, and really think about knifing your shoulder in as you're slamming on the brake, that's when you're going to get a lot of power on your slice. So here's what the move looks like. I'm here, I get ready to get the jut out, and then I'm going to slam on the brake, stay in there, and then gradually take my follow throughout in the direction of my target. Let's take a look at a couple of demos.
There you go. So guys, there are the two strategic slices of Roger Federer. Matt, what do you think about what Roger's doing on that grass right now? I, I think he's going to be A-OK. -okay. I think he looks great, and I think he's going to use these slices a lot. So it'll be fun for you guys at home to watch Wimbledon and figure out when he's using which slice and really watch his feet. That's right. Watch the feet. And if you want to dive deeper on the back end, I have a three-part training series that Matt is very strategically pointing out right there. We're gonna play a commercial for you. And if you wanna sign up for it, improve your back end, it just hit it just like Roger, because it is a one-handed free training series. That's right, all about the one-handed back up end. There. Make sure you watch this guy on Coffee Break Tennis, and he's gonna be coming at you with some more fitness tips and always be coming at you with the tennis technique. This is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.